And we're back at the North American Star League. We do have the Muslim on the line. Hey, Ben, you there? How's it going? Ah, it's going pretty well. How are you doing after that uh, After that pretty impressive win against Ryung? Uh, really well. Like, um, the first game, um, I must admit, I was, like, really gutted after that. I was like, oh, geez. And, like, <laughs> I even had my shirt. Like, I didn't expect the win at all after that. I had my shirt in another room in the house. Like, not ready for this uh, winning interview. So, yeah. I'm so, what, really you, happy. Pl you play tournament games with your shirt off like a, like a boss? Well, like, my EG shirt, you know, like, I, I wasn't prepared for this Muslim one. Muslim just yeah. sits there with his hairy chest hanging out. It's <laughs> a monster. Uh. <laughs> no, but yeah, go on, Ben, because he interrupted you. You wanted to talk about the games. Oh, no. Um, yeah, like, the first game, um, I didn't scout and he scouted. Or, in fact, we don't, both didn't scout. And then it was like, I lost my initial Hellion. And I was like, geez, that's sucky. And then uh, he he rushed me and I didn't I was going for the Raven he went for the Viking because I thought he was going to be going cloak and it was just like a complete counter build and I lost um then the next two games yeah it was pretty fun yeah you went for that big drop in game two where did you get the, the courage from to leave so many units because it was a pretty big army at your natural but instead you decided to pick up 60 marines and flow to his main was that a hard decision to make or did you just feel straight away that was the right one to make it was instinct, man. Like, I felt that <laughs> sh**. <and>, like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you left, you had two Marines in your natural. Like, so uh, what, what, what a guy. I, I was hoping that he wouldn't know, and, like, yeah, it kind of paid off. Like, I mean, I is, that, <laughs> is that really the advice you're going to give, like, an aspiring Terran player? Like, okay, you're facing 1-1-1. One, 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 he's, he's containing you in your natural. What should you do? Send everything to his base. Hey, it's, <laughs> it works sometimes, you know? you got to gamble. All right. And the last game, Ben, yeah, you scouted pretty early on. You saw he went command center first while you went to go for, uh, or you aimed to go for the no gas uh, fast expand build. Obviously, that means that he's going to be a little bit behind, uh, a little bit ahead economically. But did you still feel it was kind of okay because you forced him to pull some SCVs early on and you also had a much better idea of what he was doing rather than him not knowing what you were doing? Yeah, I thought I could play a lot safer. Um, even down to marine production, I could kind of skimp a little bit and just uh, power out SCVs. I don't know how uh, fluently he could do that. Um, but yeah, after seeing CC first and me going for the gasless fast expand, it's like, okay, I can't punish that. All I can do is try and like keep up with them kind of thing. So I chose to get more gas and go for upgrades faster and like try and get little timing windows. But um, yeah, when he when he pulled those SUVs too, I was like pretty happy that he pulled two of them. Like you don't you never need to do that. So um, yeah, it, the the situation was kind of weird to be honest. Like I haven't played that CC first that much. Yeah, it was uh, it was really crazy just how even that game was, uh, the Muslim, because you guys basically had the same number of everything up until that first big engagement, where you fought kind of at the top left side, uh, where your tanks were all in position and he was missing a couple. At what point do you feel like you really had that game in the bag? Because even after that fight, I was of the opinion that oh shoot, his army's kind of stuck. How are you going to get out of there? Um, actually, like I didn't expect that fight to go as well as it did. Like, um, I think. It I had two more tanks in him or so, mm. and maybe a few more marines. But I didn't, I didn't realize the game was that even. Because um, yeah, if you go for that build, usually you're a little bit ahead. But um, yeah, like as soon as I killed all those tanks in his army, it was like, okay, I'm gonna deny his third, and then his third was like floating away, and then he got the fourth, and I was like, okay, I can actually deny both of these for quite a long time. And then depending on how long I deny them for, and I just build up a ton of racks so I'm ready to re max. Because eventually he's gonna pile drive the army. It's just about me getting into a nice enough position that I can just re max instantly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's pretty much what we were talking about, Ben. So you just made us look really smart. So thank you very much. I still have one more final question, Ben. Next week, uh, next week you're up against Crazy Moving. How do oh. you feel about going up against him, and what do you know about him? Uh, Crazy Moving, I've only played him one time, actually, in like a clan war thing. And we didn't know he was Korean at the time. It was in a clan war, and I had to play him in the ace match. And he's really, really good. Like um, I had to cheese him to win. So um, he's one of those underrated players playing for Team IS. He's just like he's just a very good Zerg. Like. By no means Dom Ragu standard, but not far behind there, I don't think. Like, he did really good at MLG. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. TVC is one of my best matchups. My TVT is improving, and uh, I just hope to avoid Protoss for as long as possible right now. <laughs> well, eventually, you are going to have to play a Protoss and a I very know, strong I one. <laughs> <laughs> Both you and Hero are doing excellent in this group, Ben. So thank you very much. Any last words? Any shout outs? Well, as always, guys, uh, thank you uh, for doing such a great job and uh, hopefully making me look okay. And uh, <laughs> thank you to Team EG and their sponsors, Intel, SteelSeries, Monster, Kinks, and Sapphire, and Inwin, and Beyond Gaming, of course. Thank you very much. Uh, you've all been very much appreciated. And uh, keep on doing a good job, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. 
All right, DeMuslim, thanks so much. Congratulations on your win here today. We're going to hang up on you so that we can jump into our next game, which is going to be, drum roll, uh, Crazy Moving versus Noni. So mm -hmm. awesome stuff. A little bit of ZVP action coming up. I want to thank our, our sponsor... GameMinder <laughs> for hosting that last game of the Muslim versus Ryung. GameMinder, the smartphone app that allows you to uh, set reminders for video game releases and NASL broadcasts. So go check them out. Uh, Handlelabber.com slash products slash GameMinder. Jazz hands, Ben. It's time to go. And then we'll be right back <laughs> with Noni versus Crazy Moving. So stay tuned, guys. Should be awesome. <laughs> and we'll be right back.